Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art tutorial series, you will learn how to find images for your Smart Art diagrams. Finding images for Smart Art diagrams is always a challenge because the placeholder available to place pictures is so small that it is always a challenge to find the right images to add to Smart Art diagrams. In this tutorial, we will show you how to overcome that limitation. I am going to take the example of this particular slide where we have shown a sales process and the end result of visualization is this diagram with images. So let us learn the process of finding the right images for Smart Art Diagram in a step-by-step -step way. The first step in converting this text-based slide into a diagram is to select all the text out there and then right click and go to convert to smart art option it is always a good idea not to go in for the default options available so click on more smart art graphics since we want to visualize a sales process we are going to look for the diagrams under the options called process since a sales process ends up in a sales closure which is a success we would like to portray something which has an upward flow while this and this and these show upward flow this and this option don't have images attached to them the reason why i wish to add images to visualize the process sales process is Sales is all, always about excitement and human emotions. So it makes sense to add some images while we visualize the sales process. So I'm going to use this particular diagram called as Ascending Picture Accent Process. As soon as I hit OK, you can see that all the processes, all the steps in the process are automatically included in the diagram. Now I'm going to increase the size of the diagram a little bit so that I can read the text fairly clearly. This is one of the limitations of SmartArt wherein the text is not necessarily of uh, the right size. You need to do a bit of adjustment yourself. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. I'm going to select here, go to home and maybe I'll increase the font a little bit better. Maybe, maybe something like this is good enough. Now I can read the text clearly. Now the most important thing is to visualize the information. The first thing is we want to visualize, add an image to portray the concept of prospecting. A common mistake people do while searching for images for a concept is that they try to put the exact keyword that they want to search for. For example, if you were to enter the search for prospecting, you may get a lot of junk you will waste a lot of time trying to sift through the various images and you may not end up getting what you really want. However, if you do a bit of mental processing, you will be able to get the right image. For example, if I were to search for images for prospecting, I'm going to click here and PowerPoint 2013 offers you the option of finding the image from the file that is the, the on your computer or from office clipart or Bing image search. I'm going to use Bing image search here because by default the images that are going to be shown will be under Creative Commons license. Alright, so instead of putting the word prospecting here which might give not so accurate results, if I do a bit of mental processing like what happens during prospecting for new customers? We usually use a telephone to call customers while prospecting for new customers. So I'm going to search for the word telephone rather than prospecting. So when I enter the word telephone here and hit enter, I get a lot of options that show telephone and I'm going to choose the one that is brightest because the space available here is so small that I want to have something which immediately grabs attention. So I'm going to click on this one and press insert. And there I go, I have the image of uh, telephone for prospecting. The next one is I want to visualize appointment. Now, appointment is nothing but 
personal interview with customers so instead of putting the word appointment i am going to type in the word interview here now i have number of options here maybe i can choose something like this but if i were to read the description given here it shows job interview so i don't really want it and this one is about staying calm during a stress interview i don't want it and if i go here this one seems to be quite appropriate it, it talks about the interview process where it is about taking notes so i'm going to press that one and press insert so that kind of represents what happens when um i meet a customer next one is about sales presentation so i'm going to click here and i'm going to talk about search for presentation and when it is about presentation it is usually um about slide presentation so i'm going to click the first one and press enter and objection handling and objection handling is nothing but the process of answering questions that a customer has in mind so instead of searching for objection handling i'm going to search for questions and this one seems to be quite appropriate and there we go and the last one is about sales closure so instead of entering the word sales closure i'm going to represent what sales closure means it means success it means winning a simple way to represent winning is uh, by showing thumbs up sign so i'm going to search for thumbs up rather than sales closure which gives me far more accurate results maybe i can choose this and press insert Now I have beautifully visualized all the concepts that are written here. Now the final step is about beautifying this particular image uh, diagram. So I'm going to go to design and uh, I'm going to choose something which has which is more colorful than the plain one. So I'm going to Okay, so this one seems pretty good. And I can also choose my own smart art style for it. so in maybe uh, instead of settling for the default one maybe i can go for this 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 yeah this seems per perfect to me or uh, yeah this is even better because it gives a definition to the diagrams so there we go we are able to convert something that looks as boring as this to something that looks as exciting as this by searching for the right images to add to our smart art diagrams When it comes to adding pictures and text to your slides, an interesting way by which you can add more excitement to your slides is by using meaningful custom animation. Smarta doesn't always provide you a lot of options to animate your picture and text combination. I wish to show you some example templates taken from our advanced custom animation templates pack for business presenters. where we show the power of using images and text to make your slides look captivating this is our first example here when i click you can see that the image is getting revealed and the text comes after that here you can use the image that is far fuller to get the to portray the idea far better Here is another example. Here we use the power of spin animation to draw the attention of the audience to the image we want to portray. And here is the second step and here is the third step in the process. And this is the next example. And here you can observe how this image changes on click. So here and the fourth step So there are many interesting ways to use the power of picture and text in your business presentations when you want to go beyond smart art. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional slides with picture and uh, text, you can always take a look at our advanced custom animation templates pack for PowerPoint. The pack has more than 630 advanced custom animation templates which you can choose and replace sample text to get your business slides. Hope 
you like the tutorial here to learn more such tutorials please visit us at presentationprocess.com you will find tons of useful tutorials to improve your presentation skills thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting